Hey there, this is Brandon from cadintentions.com and in today's video I'm going to go over how to create custom line types in AutoCAD using the make line type command. Check it out and don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Cheers! <laughs> So to start, uh, you're going to need to draw out a pattern that you'd like to repeat as a line type. Um, typically, you want to keep them like pretty easy to understand. You don't want a whole bunch of different things repeating and being confusing. So I try to keep it to like four or five different parts at most. Um, the majority of lines are only two or three, right? Like a line, dot, line. That's only really two, two pieces, a line and a dot. This one here is two small dashes followed by two long dashes. This line here going up and down is simply to show the spacing for the, the first one. So if, if this repeated without any kind of spacing here, the, uh, the end of this one and the start of this one would be combined, right, when it, when it moves from one end to the next. Um, hopefully that makes sense once I show you what it does, but it basically, a line type will copy this pattern over and over and over throughout the length of your line. And you can see this solid line here is what I'm going to test it on. So to start, you're going to draw your pattern, um, keeping the spacing well to whatever you'd like, and then adding something so you know a spacing to select before it. And I'll show you why that's important in a minute. So along the top here, you're going to go to the Express Toolbars in your ribbon. Uh, that's the last tab on mine. And on the right, you're going to click the Tools pull down. From there, you're going to select Make Line Type, and it's going to ask you where you want to save it. I usually save mine in a line type folder, and I call my .lin, which is a line type file. I call mine Custom Line Types. Uh, I'm going to double click it and replace it uh, because I know there's nothing in it, and this is just for the tutorial. So the first thing it's going to ask once you've uh, saved or chosen where to save your line type file is the line type name. And this is just for this specific line type. You're going to make a bunch of line types probably, so you're going to need to name them something unique each time. Don't just call them custom. So for this one, I'm going to call it dashes. Dashes. One, two, three. That's just so I can remember it right now. When I'm done with that, remember not to use any spaces in the name. I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to ask for a description of what's in this line type. So I'm going to say short and long dashes. Doesn't matter that I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Next, it's going to ask for a starting point, and this is where you're going to use that spacing. So you're going to just follow the line along, click, and I know that that's one. I'm using uh, one as my spacing. Again, you're going to want to create a line types with a scale and size that works for the size of drawings that you're normally working with. So if you're working in hundreds of meters, you might want to do up your uh, pattern at like half of a meter or one meter, right? And then it'll repeat over the length of your line. If you're working in millimeters, you want to adjust accordingly, inches, feet, yards, whatever. Anyway, back to this. Once you've selected your start point, you're going to select the end point of your pattern. So that's the right hand side end of your line. Next, you want to select the objects that are going to be repeated in your pattern. So I'm going to select my four lines. You don't need to select this first one. That was just for reference. You don't even really need to draw it. Next, I'm going to hit OK. And you're going to see along the bottom here that line type dashes one, two, three was created and loaded. That means it's been brought into the drawing already and saved to that line type file. So if we want to select our line up here, click the Home tab and go to the line type pull down. You can select dashes. I'm going to hit escape to deselect it. And you can see it's repeating that pattern. Two short ones, two long ones, two short ones, two long ones. And this gap right here where they, they, uh, it repeats is the spacing that we selected before over here. So this distance is this distance here that it adds after the pattern. You want to remember to include that and it can be whatever you want. If you made this bigger, this would be a bigger space here and it wouldn't be even. But you can see it repeated my line type all the way along. And I'll keep the same spacing and pattern 
as long as I stretch it out. This is part two of the custom line types video. I'm going to show you how to make a little more complicated lines like this flow uh, or arrow line type here and a water line type. Although you can use this line type to be an S or a T or you can write storm and it'll repeat it. It's whatever you'd like, um, basically using text in your line types and custom shapes in your line types. You could make this arrow an X or a squiggle or whatever you'd like. This is just going to show you how you use text and shapes. So to start, you're going to draw out your line type pattern and then you're going to draw some sort of an irregular shape in the center of your gap. In mine, I'm drawing an arrow and this will be a flow path line. So once you've got that done, we're going to create a shape out of these two lines here. To do that, you're going to go to the Express Tools bar along the top here. And once you're at the Express Tools uh, ribbon panel, you're going to pull down Tools on the right here and select Make Shape. It's going to open up a window and you're going to want to save these shapes wherever you're keeping your custom line type file. So for me, if you remember, it was in a folder called Custom Line Types. And I've already created these ones, but I'm going to save over them and show you how to make them. So we're going to, I'm going to call this one arrow because I'm creating an arrow shape. I'm going to hit save and yes to replace it. It's going to ask me for the name of my new shape. And I'm going to call it arrow, A-R-R-O-W, and hit enter. It already exists. I'm going to hit yes because I've already made this. You won't get that. I'm going to leave the resolution at 128 bit and I'm going to select the insertion point and this is where you can insert your shape and for this example I'm going to use the gap spacing so I'm going to select this point right here as my insertion point and now it's asking to select the objects I'm going to select the two pieces of my arrow and hit enter now your shape is uh, inserted into your drawing so this is still lines we can delete those and we're going to type in the word shape s-h-a-p-e and then you're going to type in the name of that shape you just created mine was arrow and now you can see it's inserted it's going to ask me where I want to insert I'm going to select the insertion point I chose earlier and it's going to ask me the height I'm going to just hit enter to keep it at one and hit enter again to not rotate it you're going to leave the angle at zero and there you go We've got the same little line type, but now this is a shape. It's one piece. Next, we're going to create our line type like we did in the last video by selecting Tools on the Express Tools ribbon uh, panel and selecting Make Line Type. Again, I'm going to select the old line type file I already made because it's just going to add this to it. So we're going to hit it, hit Save, Yes, and now it's asking for the name of our new line type. I'm going to call it arrow, A-R-R-O-W. Line already exists. This is because I've made it already. I'm going to overwrite it say yes. Description. Arrow flow line is what I'm going to call mine. And hit enter. It's going to ask for a starting point. And if you remember, you don't want to start here because it'll be like copying this whole thing and adding it to this point here. So you're going to get double line here. I'll show you what I mean after. So I'm just going to select right here, the same as the insertion point. As my, that's my start, and this is my end over here. And it's asking me which objects. I can select this line and my shape and hit enter. We've now got a line type created. And if we go up to our example one up here, open up the, pro the properties, and change the line type to arrow you can see that we've now got an arrow line type up here. That's repeating. Pretty cool, right? Now, I'm going to show you why we selected here. Basically, a line type just copies and pastes whatever lines you've got in it. So I'm going to copy all of them and paste them at the end. And hit enter. So you can see that this line here is now double because we pasted it in front of this line. So by selecting where we did, right here, it would be like, pasting just these front ones here in front of the next line like that over and over again. That's how it creates the line. So that's why we select where we did. If you have any questions, 
as always, you can just ask in the comments. But that's how you would make a line type using a shape. Now you can create any kind of shape as long as you can uh, make it a shape, you can add it to your line type. So now that we've got the, uh, the arrow one out of the way, we're going to move on to creating a line type that is uh, using text. This is just a water line type. Um, you can type in water as your text. You could type in sanitary, just W-A-T, you can use a capital, it doesn't really matter. But one thing to note is that this is a, uh, a regular text and not M text. So when you create this, you're gonna just type in text or uh, actually the easiest way is to type in DT for a D text. And this is the original style of text in AutoCAD. You don't have all the formatting options like you do with M text, but it works in line types. So it's going to ask you for the starting point of text. You can just select wherever you want. It's going to ask you for the height. It's going to use one for my height, angle of zero, and then it's just going to ask you for your text. So remember that's DT to start a D text. Don't use M text. Alright, so remember it's D text, and with that you can type in uh, anything you'd like. I wrote sanitary here, or san for sanitary. So I'm going to delete this W, move this that way. All right, you can edit this however you'd like, make it look good, but just remember to use D text and not M text. Less formatting options, like if I double click it, you can see I can't, like, there's no multiple lines it's a single line text object so once you've got your text set up you're going to go to the tools bar again make line type we're going to go over top of the uh, old line type again we're going to call this sanitary hit enter description is going to be sanitary line type doesn't matter what you use. Starting point, again, we're going to use right here. For the end point, you're going to use the end of your line. And for objects, you're going to select your text and the line. If you use M text, you'll notice that you cannot select the text. So you'll know you did it wrong. You're going to just redo your text piece with D text. You hit enter, and now you've got that added. So we're going to go up to our example line here, select it, and change it to sanitary. So you can see it repeats the word sanitary, so you can always tell what the line is. You can use this for property line, you can use PL for property line, or CL for center line. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. And hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned for our next series, which will be coming up in another week or two. Cheers!